Sita Jaswini and I'm coming to you today with a review of a couple of products from Professional Artist Cosmetics which is called Pack. I have been really curious about this brand because I've been seeing a couple of YouTube videos and I've seen their page on Instagram and I know that they sell on Amazon and on Flipkart and if you live in Bombay then you're really lucky because they have a store somewhere in Bombay. So they sent me a few things uh, to review for you guys and I am in no way affiliated or sponsored by them. Uh, they are not paying me to say nice things about these products. So I am just going to show you what they sent me and uh, tell you my honest thoughts about them. So the first thing I got were these uh, mini beauty blenders which are a 4 pack and this is exactly like the mini beauty blender uh, you know that the original beauty blender created. and. These are four of them, they are all differently sized, cut and shaped and uh, this is what I used to apply my concealer today. So I took the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer uh, all over my blemishes and under my eyes and after uh, I soaked the mini beauty blender and I just sort of uh, went over all the areas where I applied concealer and I tapped it like three or four times and it blended perfectly. I used the one which is uh, shaped like a real technique sponge and uh, went over all these areas that were concealed and it blended it perfectly. I was quite pleased with this actually. I have used the original uh, mini beauty blender and um, I did not really see a difference in the final uh, result that I got. Uh, now let's talk about the Pack Beauty Blender which is the most exciting product of the lot. Uh, this comes in a packaging like this. This is the box and it is for 485 rupees. And uh, this is the Beauty Blender right here. It's a little dirty because I already used it today to do my makeup. And uh, I'm going to compare it side by side with the original Beauty Blender. So first thing first, this is the brand new original beauty blender, I've never used it. So I'm just going to show you the difference in the color. This is obviously wet so it's bigger right now and uh, this has never been used so it's at its original size. And as you can tell that there's a little bit of a color difference. This is brighter pink in color and uh, this is also pretty bright pink but not as bright as this one. And if you notice, uh, this is the original Beauty Blender which I've been using for some time. So this obviously bleeds color. I'm not sure if the pack one will bleed color or not. But uh, this one does bleed color and see how bright uh, the brand new one is. And uh, the one which has been in use for some time has lost its color. So let's get back to the pack Beauty Blender and uh, get back to comparing these two. So when I sort of uh, squish them, they actually feel identical. Like I don't feel like there is any difference whatsoever. If I was to just close my eyes and if you were to give me one in one hand and the other one in the other hand, I wouldn't be able to tell which one is pack and which one is the original beauty blender. However, there is most definitely a difference in the texture. The original beauty blender is more porous and uh, the pack beauty blender is definitely smoother in its finish and its surface. It's not as porous. Now the original beauty blender I know for a fact is latex free. It says so on the box itself. I really don't know about the pack beauty blender. This may or may not be latex. But um, if I compare it with my other latex sponges, it does look like the same material the same smooth sort of material which uh, the other latex sponges are made of this looks a lot like that another small difference i noticed between the pack beauty blender and the original beauty blender was the tip uh, the tip of the original beauty blender is a little bit sharper and pointier i want to say that the pack beauty blender has a slightly more rounded tip Initially, when I received this, it was packaged like this in its box with the lid on top of it. So I thought that maybe the tip of the Beauty Blender got smushed and it was probably not as uh, sharp because it had, had, it had the uh, weight of the lid on it. But uh, even after washing it a couple of times and using it a few times, it is still quite rounded. So that's one difference that I found between the original and the pack one that the tip is a little more rounded. 
So uh, let's put these two to the test and uh, see which one performs better or if they both perform equally well. Uh, I'm going to use the Pack Beauty Blender on this side of my face and I'm going to use the Original Beauty Blender on this side of my face. So I first took the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation and uh, with the Pack Beauty Blender I applied it uh, on one side and I first just patted uh, a few dots onto my skin with my finger and then started blending it with the Beauty Blender and again I found that just in uh, 3 or 4 uh, tapping motions I would get a perfect, perfectly blended look of the foundation. And then on the other side of my face, I used the good old original beauty blender that I've been using for years and years and um, I went in with the same foundation and I'm just applying it uh, with the beauty blender and tapping that and of course it blends amazingly because the original beauty blender is such an awesome product and I'm glad that I may have found uh, a brilliant dupe uh, with the pack beauty blender. So now that the Pack Beauty Blender passed the test with foundation, let's check it out with powder. Uh, on this side again, I used the Pack Beauty Blender and picked up a little bit of my Chanel Loose Powder and applied it. I'm not baking or anything, just very very lightly uh, pressing it into the skin just to set my under eye concealer and the rest of my makeup. And uh, on the other side of my face, I used the original beauty blender and uh, again this always performs um, perfectly with powder and I've tried baking with this as well and it does a very good job. I'm not sure how the pack beauty blender will do with baking but it did a perfect job with putting on uh, loose powder to set the makeup. Now that we've tried the liquid foundation and the loose powder, let's try a cream product which is uh, a cream blusher from Bobbi Brown. And I'm going to take the Pack Beauty Blender for one side and I'm taking the more rounded side, the underside of the Beauty Blender and picking up the blush and then applying it. And I found that the Pack Beauty Blender applied and uh, blended the cream blush just as easily and as effortlessly as the original Beauty Blender would. And then I went on the other side with the original Beauty Blender and applied my cream blush. So as you can see, uh, both the sides of my face have uh, cream blush applied to it um, and both of the sides look equally amazing. So I think the Pack Beauty Blender did really well with cream blush as well. So I have been using the Mini Beauty Blenders and uh, the big one as well. And uh, I used the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser to clean them, just like I would clean my original Beauty Blender. And I found that this was a wee bit easier to clean. The pack one, that is, is a little bit easier to clean. Uh, you know, if I just sort of uh, dampen it nicely and just uh, run it over the Solid Cleanser and wring out everything, I find that this cleans up faster than the original beauty blender so that's a huge plus so if i were shopping online from um, amazon or flipkart and i came across these two things i would only pick up one of them i would not um, purchase both of these things because i feel that even though this is really nice and squishy and tiny and it can get into all your nooks and crannies and you know help you blend under eye concealer or your liquid highlighter or maybe even contour I feel like whatever this does, this guy can also do all of those things because of this nice point here. I think it can get into all those nooks and crannies as well and get all those jobs done which the mini beauty blender would do. Uh, with that said, if you already own the original um, big beauty blender and you wanted to try the mini ones, then definitely give this a go. But um, if I were to choose one of these things i would choose the big one because like i said it can do pretty much everything that the teeny ones can so they also sent me three black eyeliners and they are all basically different from each other i remember i came back from a really hectic day at work and i was exhausted and i saw this package line which was from pack cosmetics and i got so excited and my in you know all my tiredness just vanished because 
I just love seeing new makeup and I was so so excited so I just want to thank back I am so so grateful that you guys sent me this stuff to try out and uh, yeah let's talk about the eyeliners the first one they sent me was this uh, liquid eyeliner pen and uh, this was the packaging of the liquid eyeliner pen this was 450 rupees that's what the MRP is on the packet so this liner has uh, a very very nice felt tip which is just the right amount of flexible and uh, I used this to do my eyeliner today as you can see uh, very nice uh, black ink very pigmented that comes out of this tip and quite smooth in its application and uh, it's super super convenient if you like to do winged eyeliner that is what I did today with this. So on application, the eyeliner looks quite glossy, but it dried down completely matte. So this is going to be the thing that I keep in my kit for, uh, you know, when I apply false lashes and uh, the lash glue shows or the lash band shows a little bit uh, and looks odd. This is what I'm going to use to uh, sort of just go right in and cover up, just dot it and dash it over the... Uh, parts where the lash glue is showing or the lash band is showing to just completely um, sort of blend it with the eyeliner and uh, make sure that there are no lines showing and uh, even when I run out of the ink in this product I will continue to use this tip because I really liked this tip I will uh, just dip the tip in my uh, Maybelline gel eyeliner which is my favorite eyeliner and uh, yeah I'm just going to pick up the gel eyeliner on this tip and uh, apply it using this pen and then the last thing I used was this kajal pencil it's a lovely uh, black very pigmented pencil which has to be sharpened and uh, it has a smudger right here at the back and this is what I used today to uh, fill in my waterline and I really really liked it. It's quite pigmented, goes on very smoothly, doesn't hurt the eye and uh, I also used the smudger later on to sort of just uh, spread out the kajal in my waterline nicely and bring it down just a little bit in under my lash line. So the third eyeliner I got was this Pack Intense Auto Coal which is basically uh, you know a twist up eyeliner pencil also with a smudger so the main difference between the intense auto coal pencil and the uh, other coal pencil is that that one is very difficult to smudge it doesn't just smudge and get everywhere but this is a very very creamy formula and uh, you know if you apply it on your uh, lash line on your eyelid and just uh, pick up the smudger and smoke it out you get a nice smoky eyeliner which is what I'm a huge fan of so this is going to find a lot of use um, in my professional in my personal everyday life not my professional life and kajal is something that I don't use very often so this is just going into my kit and uh, so is the liquid eyeliner pen uh, so guys, I don't know the price of the long lasting coal pencil or the pack intense auto coal. I will find out the price uh, on Flipkart or Amazon and I will put it down below. Also one of these pencils came in this or oh, the pack long lasting coal pencil came in this uh, little pouch which has a zip and oh yeah the price is right here it says 350 rupees. So I will put down the price of the other eyeliner which I got. So if you are someone who likes uh, really nice kajal and you like to thicken it slightly uh, using a smudger then definitely go for the long lasting coal pencil and if you are like me and you like really smudgy and smoky eyeliner or if you want a nice pencil to do a base for a smoky eye. Uh, by base I mean that you can apply it all over the lid and then smoke it out and then apply your black eyeshadow to um, create a perfect smoky eye. So then the perfect um, product for that will be the Pack Intense Auto Coal which is the twist up pencil. Another thing I want to add about this is that it takes a lot to sort of, you have to keep turning quite a few times for the product to come up and once it does it will not go back down. You can keep on turning it the other way it will not go back down so be careful about that if you're going to buy this only twist up the amount that you need uh, don't twist it up all the way because if you do um, it will not go back in 
So yeah, those were all the products that I got from Pack, and uh, I hope you found this video useful in case you were curious about some of these products like I was. And I would definitely give Pack a two thumbs up for uh, creating such amazing products and it always always really excites me when uh, new brands come out with new things which are uh, not available from other brands. So I'm really excited and I'm definitely going to be trying their lashes and their eyeshadows. And yeah, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching. I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Bye.